yes, I am going to feel underappreciated if I'm putting in 110% and my label is giving me. So you still have the Adidas deal? That's still a go? You no. Did, After you, my first sneaker, that was. Was that because of Rihanna? Was that because of Rihanna? I mean, that's what the statement said, right? She tried to make it about money and said that she's worth $90 million and you're worth half a million dollars. Celebrity feuds are quite the norm in the entertainment industry, but more often than not, they're started by the wannabes. But in Tiana's case, it's the exact opposite. Rihanna began to take aim at Tiana for not being a giant star compared to her. But it can't be denied that Rihanna's team puts in a lot of effort to make her this big. And to be fair, Tiana would not require even a quarter of it. Considering the trash management of the artist she was assigned to, her retirement was inevitable. Well, we've got all the deets about the feud. So without further ado, let's get into it. Tiana Miche, Jacqueline Schumpert, the falling star of pop music industry, was cyberbullied by Rihanna on social media. Interestingly, it was Rihanna that started the war. It all started when Tiana posted a video of her singing one of Anita's songs. I always knew I would feel that magic for you. Taylor posted an Instagram video singing Caught Up in the Rapture. Somehow Rihanna saw it and obviously didn't like it because the very next day, she posted a video of her male stylist dressed in drag, imitating Taylor's rendition of the Anita Baker classic. My mind, I believe in your heart. And adding fuel to the fire, Rihanna posted the link with explicit dissing remarks. Well, it was not taken lightly by Tiana, and she took it to Twitter saying, Petty is petty, and shade is shade. B knew what the F she was doing. And kicking it up a notch, the young talent accused Rihanna of allegedly sleeping with numerous men in the industry for personal gains. Your net worth and your body count go neck and neck, Taylor wrote. $90 million and $90 million diving in that bee box. Rihanna zipped her lips in response for quite some time, but eventually fired back with a fierce tweet. I hate broke, but after realizing that it was not powerful enough to counter Tiana's previous jab, she deleted it, renewing her response by saying, I refuse to help your career. You will not get an at from me. Not until you pay me. But Rihanna's stunt backfired because people got to know the amazing vocals Tiana possessed. A fan explained that Kanye West and Rihanna both were put to shame by Tiana's talents. TT's voice is more vocally trained than RF's voice. TT put KKW and RF to shame in Kanye West's fade dance video. Admitted RF, can RF dance like that? I'll wait. In an interview with Hot 97, she explained that Rihanna did not expect Tiana to fight back when she pulled that stunt. She revealed that even Rihanna's own fan base did not side with her on this one. And she does this to everybody. It's not always fun in games all the time. You understand what I'm saying? You do it, you get away with it. You tried me. You clap and I clap back. But the problem was that even though it was a defensive move on Taylor's part, Adidas broke their deal with her. It was specifically the result of some fan uploading a picture of a roughed up Rihanna while Tiana was photoshopped to wearing boxing gloves. Well, all Tiana did was share the picture, but Riri's fan base took it upon themselves to pass a petition for Adidas to let her go. She confirmed the news in an interview with The Breakfast Club. So you still have the Adidas deal? That's still a go? You no, been, after you, my first sneaker, that was... Was that because of Rihanna? Was that because of Rihanna? I mean, that's what the statement said, right? Later, she also revealed that she did not make the viral picture, but the damage was already done. But now the thing is, it wasn't just Rihanna who was out to get Tiana. The label that she was signed to, Good Music, under Kanye West, was not her best ally as well. Now, it's a well-known fact that Kanye is known for his incredible creativity and musical sense in the industry. But even that gifted artist was unable to bring Tiana's talent to justice. Kanye introduced her in his album, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy Album. Album. Why would they follow us? Why would they follow? Oh, no, no, no. But unfortunately, Kanye had too much going on for him at the time. Therefore, he couldn't use Taylor's talent to the fullest. In the meantime, Tiana was able to finally release her own debut album, Seven, according to Hits Daily Double. Seven only sold around 14 to 16,000. Some of Tiana's supporters are blaming the dismal projections on what they feel is a lack of promotion and the failure to release a strong single after Maybe. But it was the perfect opportunity for Riri fans to harass the young artist online and she had the nerve to come for Rihanna while she was trying to be a Twitter thug she should have been trying to convince 
Kanye to actually give a damn about her career. He tweeted the day before her album dropped, and that's all he did to promote her. But Tiana did not let all the negativity get to her and kept trying hard to keep her name out of the industry. She's also doing various side hustles like choreographing, posting dancing videos on the internet, acting roles and whatnot. Not long after the first failure, a groundbreaking opportunity knocked at her door. She was featured in Kanye's Fade music video, which introduced her to the mainstream audience. Tiana's insane dance moves tied the song together, but unfortunately, she did not get all the credit for it. Fans believe that the song would have been incomplete if it wasn't for Tiana. It's 2023 and I'm still watching this video. Tiana made this video. Her dance, her body movement and flexibility, the sexiness of it all is so mesmerizing. She doesn't get enough credit as she deserves. Well, even though it was prime time to capitalize on the insane fame the song received, Kanye and the label did not help her to release a new album. If a single or an album was released that time, it would have catapulted her music career. But that sadly did not happen. In a podcast with Joe Budden, she explained how heartbroken she was at the uncooperative label management. It's disheartening at times, it's discouraging at times. I feel like, damn, I work really hard. And to know that it's little shit that's the reason why it's not going where it could be. Tiana was really disheartened by the turn of events. It even seemed like she had lost all hope for her music career. In a recent podcast with Angie Martinez, she said, Like, it seemed like every time you got to the door, it slammed in your face. Mm. That was the feeling that I was having. After facing all that and much more, Tiana decided to end her music career by retiring. She explained that she was always getting the shorter end of the stick with her label and partners. She did not feel appreciated despite the hard work she put into her work. Yes, I am going to feel underappreciated if I'm putting in 110%. They're reciprocating, what, 10% of that. She explained that she had voiced her dissatisfaction to Kanye and the label, and even went as far as to ask them to drop her, but they forced her to stay. That also may be the contributing factor to the retirement decision. I asked Def Jam to drop me on almost 10 different occasions. Actually, you might be wondering if only she could have switched labels or something before taking such a huge step. Well, Def Jam was her second label. She was first signed under Star Trek Records under Pharrell when she was only 15 years old. She explained that she looked up to Pharrell as a mentor and a father figure because she didn't have one, but he was too weak to protect her against the industry wolves. Getting signed to a man, it was like a figure to me. I looked at these people like figures. Whether it was as a dad, as a brother, it didn't matter. So it's like, you didn't see me, you didn't hear me, you didn't and protect me. You kind of just like fed me to the wolves type sh without probably even knowing. Some of those conversations still need to be had. Even after leaving Pharrell's record, she did not have any hard feelings toward him. So it wasn't that he didn't protect me. It's just that a lot of hands started going into the cookie jar. It's P. He not about to be like, no y'all, back up. Maybe he was heard about some things. You don't know. It could have been a thing of pride and ego at the time. We don't know. To me as a 15 year old, it was, you didn't protect me. You let everyone mishandle me. I signed to you. You let everybody get in the way and everybody break us apart. Tiana had a heart to heart conversation with Pharrell and explained all her thoughts about the fade breakthrough that was not properly utilized. I just recently shared that with him. It might've been right after fade came out. That's what made it even doper because for me, I was at the top, top, top when that sh came out. And for me, I love that I was able to share that with him during a high and not like hitting somebody up while you're angry and sitting around somewhere bitter. Nah, it wasn't that. That's it for today, folks. See you at the next one. Goodbye.